All right, so as men, we know not to challenge a guy that's twice our size. But women, some women will be the size of a Smurf and challenge a man that looks like the Hulk. And I don't get it, bro. I don't know if it's plain stupidity or bravery. <laughs> Stay tuned and see what happens next. Alright y'all, I thought about it. And before I leave this planet, I want to leave 100 kids, man. I want to populate this earth, alright? What did you say, nigga? Every person you turn to is going to be the kid of Jay Hall. Who's your daddy? Jay Hall. That's how I want it to be, man. I want to leave a mark on this earth. <laughs> alright guys, so I've never seen two fighters knock themselves out until this video right here. All right, so in this case, who would be the winner? The one that gets up first? I don't see it any other way, man. That's the way it gotta be, man. Somebody has to get up first and claim victory. And this is why they say you shouldn't bring your phone on a roller coaster. <laughs> losing your phone to our generation is like losing a child. I know she's devastated. I would not be surprised if she held a funeral for her phone. I do, I do, I do. Okay, I have a lot to say about this video. How is this cat just chilling in water? I've never seen a cat that loves water. Because my ex used to have two cats. And whenever they would misbehave, like run around the f furniture and scrape the shit out of my hand, I would get the spray bottle and SPRAY THAT NIGGA! And that would make him behave. He hated water. This girl left her husband stranded in the sea. Let's go baby, out to the sea. It's first time guys. Jump in then. My first time on a paddle. <laughs> Go on. Ready? Go. Woo! Cheating ass. Bye. Where are you coming? Don't call your side chair. We're done. Stay in the seat. You didn't think of that instead of cheat on me. Goodbye. And if you couldn't tell that this video was fake, I don't know what to say to you, man. You can't believe everything you see on the internet. Cause some things are just too ridiculous for you to, for it to be real. Luckily, the judge is awake. Otherwise, it would have ended badly. I don't care what they say, man. That man has something against that judge. <laughs> and here's one of the weirdest videos I've seen this week. Time together, and I miss that because now my mom is here. She's hanging out with him all the time. Are you okay with the girls? I'm gonna go help her with the food. All right. If I said no, would you say? They're playing. Okay, all right. I don't know why. I have really had enough with their relationship. <laughs> they wear matching clothes. They feed each other. They leave me out of everything. Ew. Not serious. Good job. You know, my husband. I can do what I want to. No, you okay? no, yes, you I can. can. No, yes, you I can. can. If I want to rub his nose, I can rub his nose. No, okay. No. Don't even you don't try need to be doing all that. I don't tell me what I need to do. That's my son. Yeah, that mother is crossing a lot of boundaries, man. This is not right. This is not right, man. They are a little bit too close for comfort. They just might be fucking. Damn. So towards the end of her walking by him, she extended her arm to knock away his arm. That actually could have been dangerous. She could have knocked the dumbbell. It could have fell on his face. I don't know why she even did that. She could have easily walked around somewhere else in the gym. She went to the gym with a mission. She just wanted to fuck up someone's workout. <laughs> you monster. You'll pay for that. <laughs> and here's a video of the DJ doing the bride very dirty. When your legs don't work like they used to before. He ain't ever gonna work again, man. What the fuck, bro? You had one job. That's probably the only song you didn't have to play, bro. <laughs> As a DJ, you gotta read the room. All right, guys, so here is the clip of the Smurf versus the Hulk. And I have to blur some parts out for YouTube guidelines. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. What are you doing? Get off me. Get off me. Get off me. Yeah, cuz, come on, that's a female, bro. You can't do that, bro. I'm 
All right, man. So as you can see, people are against the guy. Yeah, cuz come on, that's a female, bro. But he didn't lay a punch on her, man. He just tried to create some distance, and she kept approaching him. So he had to throw her away and just create some distance and walk away. He was trying to invade the situation, and she kept approaching him. So what? What is he supposed to do? So all these people are talking shit against him like the girl isn't the one initiating the whole thing. And I commend that guy for not punching her, man. And here's a video that was very good to see, man. I wish more of this would happen in the community. Go ahead, bro. Y'all niggas is talking. Everybody on y'all phones, though. You got a big smile on his face. Look at your man right here. It's supposed to be your man. He dying. He can't look. He can't even laugh. Look, let's go. Look at the. Listen, look. They all laughing, little bro. But you really upset. And you really upset. You more mad than he is. I can see it in your face. So you fighting for a reason. He only fighting you because you want to fight him. Cause you no, mad. He came to me. He texted me. So, so you. So oh, you, some shit. I don't even know. So you defending yourself. You gotta give it up, man. You gotta give it up. Because violence is not always the answer, man. There's already too much violence going on in the black community. At this point, we need to try to come together, man, instead of trying to kill each other over some petty shit. So we need more people like him in the community for sure. All right, man, so in this next clip, there are two kids fighting. Then one of the kids actually hits the teacher. And now a student from all the way over here comes in and smacks the kid that hit the teacher. And then he just goes off on both of them and says, why are you fighting? You should not hit the teacher, man. Don't hit the teacher. The fucking teacher, nigga. Chill your shit, nigga. Oh, you don't fucking do that. Who the fuck you think you is, nigga? Hey, 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 Bro. Come on, bro. Come on. I actually commend this. He stopped the fight and he also defended the teacher. You don't see that a lot, man. You don't see students defending teachers like that anymore. So I remember one time in fifth grade, and this was in Jamaica, y'all. This is my Jamaican days, because I was born and raised in Jamaica. I lived there till the sixth grade. So this kid, he was, he was a little bit of a troublemaker, you know what I'm saying? So one day he got up and he actually try to punch the teacher. This was a male teacher, by the way. So he was he, he was not gonna tolerate that bullshit. And keep in mind, guys, in Jamaica, we actually get hit. Yes, the teachers hit the children, man. If you're late, they'll get the belt out, whip your hand. I used to get whipped. I used to get whipped in school, man. So the teacher saw this shit. He saw him swinging, held his hand, smacked him in his back with his bare hand, man. You know what I'm saying? And then he kept fighting back. He kept going off on the teacher, man. He was swinging. And the teacher just kept whooping his shit. Poop, 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 poop. And then kicked him out of the classroom. I wonder what he's doing. I wonder what his life is like now, nah, man. I won't be surprised if he's like in jail or something right now. They look heavy. Let me take these to your table. Thank you, handsome. Um, the gin and tonics for my sister, Ruth. Okay. This one is for Stacey. Hello. And if you could hand this one to my boyfriend. Fuck you. <laughs> Whiskey. So a lot of men on the internet, I think this is how they think other men should react when they don't simp. Can I help you with that? Are you sure? Absolutely. My lady is in distress, and I'm here to rescue her. Thanks. They say chivalry's dead, but I think you're making a pretty strong case for its revival. Well, I'm always ready to help a uh, beautiful lady. <laughs> I help the ugly ones as well, but I definitely say you're in the former camp. <laughs> Where am I taking this? Well, it's only a few streets away. I'm moving in with my boyfriend. Fuck you. Ah! But this is the difference between a nice guy and acting nice. Because people would think, oh, he's a nice guy. He's such a gentleman. But he's only doing it to get the cheeks. As soon as he heard she had a boyfriend. Friend, fuck you. Ah! Well, it has been said that I'm a gentleman, but never a gentleman. <laughs> Can I accompany you in your journey? Sure. I've got to get Scruffy back to my boyfriend and then... Fuck you. Bro, it's just the fact that you went back to kick the other dog. That shit crazy, man. <laughs> that shit crazy. But yeah, if you're around your homies, you really see how they switch up when a cute girl comes by, man. They start acting like the nicest guy ever. And here's another interesting video of two kids trying to fight, bro. <laughs> hey, hey. Hey, hey. Jason, Jason, Jason. Ro Ronan, get in the house. Fuck you. Get in the house. Shut up. Jason, go, go go to your house, please. He threw the first punch. Ronan, 
Please. The fuck away. I'm gonna send this to I am going to call the cops. Bro, who's he talking to like that, man? Get the fuck off of me. You're starting fights. Get the fuck off. Bro, this kid needs some whooping, bro. I ain't gonna lie, man. We gotta, we gotta get the belt. We gotta get the belt. Ronin. Shut up, you bitch. Run and jump. Run yeah, and jump. Yeah, because you're scared. Yeah, well, sure. Shut up. I'm so sorry, Jason. Fuck you, Jason. Bro. I don't know who the hell he's talking to like that, bro. I don't know who the hell he's talking to. He needs some whooping, man. He needs some whooping. I couldn't imagine talking to my older brother or, like, parent like that, bro. Shit, bro. The amount of whoopings I used to get. My mom used to be a track star, bro. I would run, she would run, and, and catch me. And unleash the belt. You know what I'm saying? Unleash that shit. But anyways, man, that is all I have for today's video. Stay tuned for the next one, man. Subscribe if you're new, and also subscribe to Patreon, bro. Going up. All right, man. I'll see you on the next one.